we want to show here that the summation indicated on the left side of this equation is equal to zero. So the sum of all terms that the, the, uh, indicated by the summation here is equal to zero. How do we do that? Notice that we can actually tweak this sum and uh, actually I don't need the red. So we can tweak the sum. We can write this negative one to the i and then after that we know that it's multiplied by one Everything is multiplied by 1, even when you don't see it. So we might as well express 1 raised to the power of n minus i. Okay? So notice that 1 raised to the n minus i, because we're talking about counting numbers, whole numbers, 1 raised to any counting number will always be 1. Right? 1 to the 1 is 1, 1 to the 100 is 1, 1 to 10,099 is one etc right that doesn't change that's what makes it magical and then just follow up with n choose i so basically you can make it look like the standard order by listing n choose i first and then one to the n minus i i'm just reordering that so you can recognize something very interesting and then negative one to the i okay and notice now we're going to use a magical formula for the binomial theorem. Uh, use, uh, we're going to, we can write the binomial expansion, basically, raised to the nth power, using summation, right? And this is what the binomial theorem tells us to do. We start from 0 to the n, and then we write n choose i, a to the n minus i, and b to the i. So as you can see, this is the recognizable form that we've transformed the given left side into, right? We introduced the 1 raised to the n minus i because that wasn't there before, right? You just saw the minus 1 to the i and choose i. But we've introduced the 1 raised to the n minus i in order, and then we re reordered that, in order for this to make, to make it look like the right side of the binomial theorem equation. Right? Identity, sort of, so to speak. Right? This is the identity that shows you the, bino the sum of the binomial coefficients. Okay? And that sum can be written in the form of a plus b raised to the nth power. Right? So we're going to use the right side of this and work out the a's and b's here. And then transform, once we find the a and b, we can simply substitute that a and b into the left side. And then bingo, we will show that it's equal to zero. So how does that work? So let me circle this this uh, this little thing that we're going to use. I'm going to erase this tiny mishap that we don't need. So as a result, what is this going to be? So notice n choose i is the same, but a is equal to one here, right? Because a is raised to the n minus one in the formula, and one is raised to the n minus one in the formula. Right, so we're going to write, instead of a, we're going to write 1 plus, now what is the b? b raised to the i. Negative 1 is raised to the i, right? So we're going to substitute the b with negative 1. Negative 1, okay, raised to the nth power. So what is that equal to? This is equal to plus minus is minus, the net minus. So minus 1 raised to the n, which is equal to 0 raised to the nth power. And 0 raised to the nth power, right, even if n is infinity, it's still going to be 0, right? That's not an indeterminate form. So n can be infinitely large, infinitely large whole number, right? And that's going to still be 0. So we've successfully showed that this is equal to this because we've transformed the left side into this introducing the one and then we've showed that this part is indeed equal to the right side which was zero using the binomial theorem formula for uh, binomial expansion or the sum of the binomial coefficients so i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching see you in the next video